Hi, my name is Tom Fowler, and I will be your presenter today for the TSIS K IEC style miniature contactors and overload relays. The TSIS K is the smallest contactor in our IEC product family, and it is available in three different sizes in a 6, 9, 12 amp size for AC3 or inductive loads. It is also available up to 20 amps for AC1 or resistive loads. Let's take a closer look at the TSIS K and some of the features that come with the product. Okay, it's horsepower rated and it's generally used on light duty or general duty applications. The TSIS K bridges the gap between a plug-in style relay and a full-size IEC style contactor. But think of general duty or light duty applications when it comes to applications using the TSIS K. Alright, so let's take a look at the first size. The smallest size is a, a 6 amp K06 contactor. This is rated at uh, 3 horsepower at 480 volts or it also has a 600 volt horsepower rating for applications in Canada. The K09 or the 9 amp contactor is rated at 5 horsepower at 480 volts and it also has a 600 volt horsepower rating as well. The K12 contactor is available in a 7.5 horsepower range and has a 480 volt and also a 600 volt horsepower rating. These current ratings from 6 to 12 amps are all in the same physical size and they have a very high fault short circuit current rating. So this is really important. All those OEMs that build control panels that require a short circuit current rating, this has a component rating that is at least 100 kA at 600 volts, so very high short circuit ratings, but it's also available with a 65 kA at 480 volt rating for circuit breaker. The TSIS K is available in three different terminal choices. The standard and most popular style is a screw with a captive wire saddle clamp. We also have slip-on tabs or fast-on tabs and we have a unique option of solder pin connections for very high volume applications. We have a wide variety of accessories that are available for TSIS K. These are going to be auxiliary contact locks, electronic timers, coil suppressors, all that simply snap on to the front or face of the contactor. And the product is finger safe. So it's an IP20 rating, which means you cannot accidentally bump into any live or current carrying parts. The product also is available for either panel mounting or 35 millimeter DIN rail mounting into a, any control panel. The overall relay that is supplied with the TSIS K is a class 10 bimetallic overload that is ambient compensated. In other words, you can use it indoors or outdoors where the temperature or ambient temperature varies due to the time of day or the season of the year. It also includes phase sensitivity. So if you had an unbalanced load or if you had a single phase loss, uh, the overload relay would trip and safely protect the motor. All versions of the TSIS K have the same physical size and they're all available with either an AC control voltage coil, a DC control voltage coil, or a low consumption DC voltage coil. So wide variety of applications for AC or DC control and horsepower ratings up to 7.5 horsepower at 480 volts. And of course, all TSIS K contactors are global products, meaning they carry all the approvals necessary for North American applications with a UL and CSA listing, but for international applications they also carry the CE mark as well as the CCC mark, which is widely used in China. Let's take a look at some of the different variations of the TSIS K. If you look at the motor starter version on the slide here, you'll see that the overload relay attaches directly to the contactor. The power connections are made, and one unique feature of the TSIS K is there's actually a fourth pin that connects to the contactor, and it connects 
all of the control terminals, so you save on wiring and installation time. The control relay version of TSIS K is as NEMA A600 rated control relay, meaning that it can carry up to 600 volts at 10 amps and meet all North American requirements. It is also available in the same physical size as the TSIS K contactor. And then the last product to tell you about is the reversing contactor version of TSIS K. The reversing uh, version is used on motor applications that are, uh, I'll say, mechanically and electrically interlocked together to be used in a wide variety of uh, reversing applications from cranes and hoists uh, to a number of other applications such as automatic garage door openers. All right, let's take a look at some of the uh, applications. TSIS K is a contactor or a control relay and as typical, it's going to turn on or off electrical loads, such as small motors. So if you see on the photos here, we're talking about applications like bowling machines. You never would have thought a bowling machine would use a TSIS K contactor. However, the ball return uses a uh, non-reversing contactor and overload relay, and then the pin setter is a reversing contactor. So as the pins go up and down, uh, we use a reversing contactor for those applications. And then, of course, hoists. Small hoists or lifting devices uh, use the reversing contactor in those applications. So we have a number of TSIS-K contactors that are fit very well into these very small and compact hoists. Also, we use these a lot in commercial garage door openers. These are not the ones that you would see in your home but the application is similar. These will be applications in commercial buildings such as quick oil change locations, uh, car dealerships, all use commercial grade automatic garage door openers and contactors such as the TSIS-K. The overload relays that are provided with the TSIS-K are going to provide thermal protection against motor overheating and damage. The TSIS K relays, they're going to pass along or relay information as part of an automation scheme. They will signal either through a normally open or a normally closed contact, and they have a NEMA A600 rating, which means they can be used in a really heavy industrial application. Well, that's a quick wrap on today's presentation on the TSIS K. We want to thank you for joining us and look forward to selling the TSIS-K family of IEC-style contactors and overload relays.